It's basically a competition for science, technology, engineering, and maths, and you can enter any project ranging across all of those subjects, and it's sponsored by Renishaw. And I did a project about pinhole photography. I um, designed a migrate pen. I created a sweet pan. And they sponsor about a thousand pounds to the whole competition, and the winners get a, a, a proportion of that. It has a moldable grip, so people with writing disabilities to help them to write. It hurts when I write, mm. so I have always thought that there should be something that can help you. And I've tried pens that have grips, but they don't help very much. This is um, my aim and why I chose to make the pen. And this is about pens that are already on the market, like this. What did you win? Yes. £75 Amazon vouchers. Oh, £75, what are you going to spend that on? I'm not sure yet. Well, we tried making fudge many times, but we, had, we couldn't get the sugar thermometer in at the right time. So, we, so I thought, instead of keep putting in a thermometer taken out, because it was very messy, I thought I'd create a pan which told you the temperature. Well, it's got a little thermometer going down from the lid, and then there's a little screen at the top that tells you the temperature. And then on the lid there's little holes to release all the hot air. I won £75 worth of Amazon vouchers. Do you know what you're going to spend it on yet? Not yet. <laughs> I'm, I'm really interested in photography, and last year in Year 9 we had a lesson about pinhole photography, and I just was I had never heard of it before, so I thought I'd research more about it. And in olden times, they used to use pinhole cameras to take photos. It's basically um, a box blacked out in the inside, and it's got a pinhole in there. You'd have to develop the photos with chemicals. So, like, there's a developer and a fixer, and then you just wash it off with water. So, what what did you win? What was your prize? My prize was 150 pounds worth of Amazon vouchers. What's your project about then for the STEM challenge? Um, I sent a high altitude weather balloon into near space to capture the footage of Earth from above. Um, I basically logged my entire progress from start to finish and I called it Atmostratos by me. And there's just everything from inspiration to planning and permission launch day and everything and background research and like, yeah. Mm. Um, this is the actual launch day. This is me making the parachute and attaching it on. And that's it, when it's in the sky without any support, just floating. Um, I'm Lisa and this is Zorbit and it's a car dehumidifier um, with an air freshener. Oh, that's interesting. How did you come up with that idea? Um, well, it was just in the cars in the morning last winter and Mum would have to turn the heaters right up and it seemed like a real pain. Um, and also Dad had a very wet car. Um, so I just um, did some research on car dehumidifiers and found that they were just suited for the dashboard. What prize did you get um, prize? Yeah, I got um, a new phone. The Samsung S6. It's very oh. nice, yes. Lovely. <laughs> Um, well, this is my report and my diary for my project, and it's just got a bit of the theory behind car dehumidifiers and dehumidifying cars and why cars missed up. Um, and then my process through making Zorbit and each development of it and how I came up with the idea. And yeah, That was um, my first idea for it, um, and it just developed from there. Um, and look, these are all the materials that I made it out of. Yeah, and I drew some pictures as I went along. Now that, you, now that you've won this prize and it's done so well, are you planning on putting it into production? Is it going anywhere else? Um, well, actually, I'm going to take part in the Big Bang competition that Q and Sky took part in last year with their Quakey Bikey. Um, so I'm going to develop Zorbit um, more so it's cheaper to make and easier to make.